Hey everyone, welcome back to iHardy and today I'll show you how to install Visual Studio Code so you could get it on your phone or your tablet or whatever. So you can see this is how it works. You can do stuff online and reflect in the main app, the Visual app on your PC. Yeah, so you want to install Node.js 16, version 16 specific. Yeah, and then you want to search for code server, go into it, get these two commands. I'm going to show you right down here yeah so you scroll down a bit and then you're gonna see these are the two commands that kind of need the one down there yeah code server dev install sh and you're gonna need another one called code dash server you can see i'm gonna use both of them right now so i've already copied that second one on the web window and i pasted it and i run it and as i run it it's going to bring up some things that are going to fail if you haven't installed node.js 16 yeah specifically the 16 i tried the latest version didn't work yeah so this is it it's installing you put in your password it might not show your password but you just type it and hit enter and it's gonna work yeah so this is it installing let's give it a moment by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe this was a tiring video to make but i did it because of you guys please just subscribe thank you so much for it and um okay now it's installed you can see it's npm package has been installed yeah and once you see that you're good to go so what you want to do next is enter code server that's the second code dash server and once you do that there'll be a pop-up right there so we have our ip address and our port mini server don't forget this involves you connecting your phone and your pc to the same wi-fi network yeah and this ip address we haven't done anything yet this is just going to run only on your pc it hasn't gotten over your whole wi-fi network yet so let's try it in safari i pasted that ip address that http and the rest of it and there is a password that will be in a certain location which you can see up here and it's a hidden file though but you can find it so this is the password yeah the word funny letters and numbers i copied and i pasted it okay so i hit submit and i recommend you save it to your pass key so you can use it on safari or your ipad and whatever so now that it's pasted this is our web window yeah i'm going to put it side by side with the main Visual Studio window and you can see every single thing I'm working on is right in the web window and you can also see it's on the main Visual Studio window you can see the different themes now when I do stuff on this web window it is meant to reflect on the main window that's how it works yeah so let's change the title on the HTML file you can see it reflects on the main app which means everything is set to go as far as the PC is concerned. But we still need to bring this over to the phone. And at the moment, it's not working on the phone. Yeah. So what we want to do is go back to our terminal. Very important. We have to make sure our config.yaml file is open while we're in our terminal. Because we're going to have to change some stuff there. First of all, go into your Wi-Fi settings and get your IP address. It's definitely a property. You can see it's 192.168.8.101. You copy it and then you go into your config.yaml file. We have to manipulate that file. Yeah, that's the file right there. Config.yaml. It's a hidden file, but you can get it. And then we have to replace the first part of the binding address, excluding 8080 with that IP address. You can see I did that earlier, but I'm going to show you how to do it. All you have to do is make a copy of the first colored line you can see not the one that's commented yeah so i'll highlight it and make a copy of it down there okay that's the copy and we comment out the other one to make it not work yeah it's commented out so this one we have to make sure we replace this first portion excluding 8080 with our pasted and copied wi-fi address which we have done right here hit command s to save i have auto save turned on but you might not so that's it now it's saved 
So it helps to restart code server on our terminal. Okay, it's restarted. So that IP address is still there in our terminal. We have it HTTP 192.168.8.101, blah, blah, blah. So we have to copy. I'm using continuity, copy and paste stuff. So I don't really have to stress myself. Paste it on my phone, connected to Wi-Fi network. You can see it's showing the Wi-Fi bar and the password automatically came because I saved this to my pass keys. And now that we have it open side by side, you can see as I adjust stuff on it, on the phone, it adjusts on the PC. Yeah, like a charm. So if it works for you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like and comment if you run into any problems so I can help you out. And I'll see you in the next video. I had you out.